All right, guys. I already got one YouTuber really curious about this thing. Right underneath here. So I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna talk. We're gonna talk a few things about it here. So I'm gonna set the camera down. So I'm gonna set it down right here. You know, it's funny that someone would have to say something about this one. I had mentioned that I had an old vacuum, but not an old car. Okay. So. So today, I'm going to wake this old gal up. Before I do, I'm going to set it up here on my bench and we're going to toss. Oops. Spray my deodorant on accident. <laughs> we're going to do a little chat. So, oh. here it is. This is my Electrolux Automatic Model G. The hose is actually weaved. It's what they did to some of these Electroluxes back in the 60s. Um, this particular one, since it is goldish, I was actually told by another YouTuber, by another YouTuber told me, that this one here came out in 1967. Um... The vacuum, I this vacuum, I actually got, did not pay anything for it. It was free. So, I mean, I didn't really have to do much to it, really, to get it to run. I just cleaned out the bag some and unclogged it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the motor at all. I mean, yeah, it's got cosmetic damage, but that's a uh, normal wear and tear on it. Uh, before I got it, my mom, a friend of my mom's actually picked it up, so. It is a little dusty from sitting, you know, but that's, I don't want to run it too much because I'm trying to keep the wear and tear off of it because you will not see how an Electrolux looks like this. You don't see those anymore. Um, without further ado, another part, this particular Electrolux is actually... So old that the power cord to run my power nozzle is actually ran from here where the, right there's a socket. Okay, but the cord for this runs all the way down the hose and actually plugs in right over here on this side of the vacuum cleaner itself, on the side of the canister. So, and the problem is with these uh, hoses that's been weaved, a lot of them tend to leak. And therefore, what that does, it does tend to decrease the suction and performance of the machine itself. Um, the suction may be weak, but it picks up everything. It picks up pretty decent, actually. So, now I've had this thing almost a year. I mean, this thing is ancient. I mean, this thing is older than I am, and... So, let's get started, shall we? This thing has not been ran in, God, I think it's been almost a year since I ran this one, actually, now that I think of it. Alright. Let's. Alright folks, now, before I hook up the power nozzle, these canister electrolytes, 
fluxes, they do not really run very loud at all. So, which is actually a plus. So, if you ever had to vacuum your house in the middle of the night, you won't have to worry about waking up waking up anybody. Which is also a good thing, right? Exactly. So, let's uh, let you hear the canister itself. Make sure I'm not... Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so my battery's dying. But... See, th this is how it ran. runs. Okay. It really doesn't run too bad. Nothing unusual there, so. I'm going to have to set this right here. Get the nozzle going. Yeah, this thing has not been ran in forever. And right there, the imprints is where this thing actually sits. So. Alright, folks. So, hope you really enjoyed that. I know this video is long, but I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.